Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new around here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so a Demogorgon does not live under your bed and visit you in the middle of the night. Trust me, you'd want to hit that subscribe button because if I were you, I, I wouldn't have a chance against a Demogorgon. Just saying. I hope I don't lose subscribers for saying that. In this video, I'll be sharing with you all some LEGO Stranger Things set ideas that I think are very likely to happen in the near future. Or so, I hope. I'm really hoping for sets to come out in 2021 and 2022. There's so much potential for this theme and I'm so excited to see what LEGO will do with it. I'll be breaking down each idea based on the season, so there will be around 2-5 to five ideas per season featured in this very video. I've only gotten one Stranger Things set, the Upside Down, and personally I own the set and think it is phenomenal by definition. Literally by definition. It is fantastic. It is a beauty. It is on my list of top three favorite Lego sets of all time. It is just gorgeous. I, I literally can't stop. Whenever guests come over to my house, that's the first thing I show them. My upside down set. I'm like, are you a Stranger Things fan? They say yes. I'm just like, take a look at that. And then they're captivated for literally an hour just staring at it and asking me questions and stuff like that. I love Lego Stranger Things and please Lego make more sets for us because you'll make me so happy. Without further ado, let's get started. The first idea on this list is a pretty generic one, I must say. It is of Hawkins Police Station. I'd love to see a build for the Hawkins Police Station, although I find it pretty unlikely to get one as we have gotten so many police officers in the past before, and police stations in general in the past before from city and different things like that. And recently, a modular police station. We're getting way too many police stations, and I think it's a cool idea and all, but it's... You know, I'd rather get something like Hopper's Cabin instead. Next on this list, I'd be thrilled to get a little cute diorama setting of Mike's basement. It is super, super iconic and it mirrors where it all started. That would be so cute. And you know what, now that I think of it, it is kind of likely considering we've gotten some uh, diorama scenes before from DC and stuff like that, you know, from the Comic Con exclusives for like that uh, Wonder Woman set there. I think that was pretty cute, and I feel like the Stranger Things diorama scenes would be similar to that, if you know what I mean. It'll be really cute to see, and I just need to get that. And this set here, Mike Spacen, would be based on the very first season, and it'll be offering a flashback to the beginnings of the series with Mike, Will, Dustin, Lucas, and of course, our girl Eleven. Or you know what? Getting just Mike's basement would be nice. But what if we could get a full-sized build of Mike's entire home with some government cops and agents to mimic the scene where they were hunting down Eleven to get her back? That would be the pure definition of awesome. Oh, and a D&D &D game there. That would be pretty cool. And like I said before, this next idea is Hopper's Cabin. I mean, I mentioned that briefly in the police station idea, but getting Hopper's Cabin would be so cute. And again, based on season one, when Hopper unofficially adopted Elle at that point, I think that'll be amazing and I just need to see that. Next, we're going to be moving on to season two. Moving on to the second season, I'd love to get a diorama scene once again, featuring the iconic audio visual room with Dustin, Dart, I mean I need Dart, Will, Lucas, Max, and Mike. The AV room would look just as it did in the episode and there would also be a proton pack in there too, that would be really really cool. I mean getting a set like this is definitely possible I suppose. It will cost a fraction of the F-R-I-E-N-D-S friends, I don't want to confuse Lego friends with friends, set from 2019. This set here, the AV room, would be built in a similar fashion on a smaller base plate. It would be a diorama set kind of thing going on there, and a great way to get a cute little dart in there too. I mean, I just need to get a dart. Ooh, I love dart. Next up on the list, the next idea is giving me some crazy Mystery Machine <laughs> vibes from Scooby-Doo, but I'm all for it. It is the van featuring Kali's group and Eleven in their goon masks. Oh my god, I love that scene so much. That was so, so cool. I'd love to get a set featuring the van where Kali's group and Eleven wore masks to commence their night of hunting down Hawkins' lab workers for ultimate revenge. It'd be such a cool set to get, but heavily based on a single episode, episode 7 of season 2, which makes it seem pretty unlikely, but possible. 
and really cool to think about. Just imagine those goons with the masks and the guy with the mohawk with the mask and eight. Just getting eight, 11 sister would be so cool. I have to try making customs for her. Oh, I'm getting inspired. The next idea on the list is pretty, pretty popular actually. Featuring the bus in season two that was attacked by those evil little demo dogs. Demon dogs. This would be an excellent way to get another Lego bus other than the strange, I guess, hidden side one. Strange to say for Stranger Things, you know, like hidden, bad joke, I'm sorry. And it'll feature Steve for the very first time. And it would look so, so cool. I'm making crazy hand gestures. I am getting excited. Oh my God, Lego, please, please let Stranger Things grow to its full potential. It has so much potential. Oh my God. I, I can't I can't do this anymore. Next on the list, this next idea is strongly related to the previous one. And it's again very popular and actually like won the Lego Ideas contest. The person who designed it is so talented. It is amazing. And I'd love to see the tunnels that the group traveled through in an attempt to destroy the Mind Flayer once and for all. But we all know that the Mind Flayer is way too smart for anyone. Unfortunately, oh, I hate the Mind Flayer. This was pretty much a cool Lego Ideas contest entry that I thought looked amazing and would love to get a set for it. Sort of like the Upside Down set from 2019. I mean, you know, like they have like the right side up and the upside down for the tunnels. And I mean, in more practical terms, getting a normal world version and an upside down version underneath would be really cool, especially for the tunnels. I mean, that's such a creative idea. It reminds me strongly of the 2019 Upside Down set. Next, for the final idea for Season 2, I'd be thrilled to receive a set based on a very iconic location in the second season. The arcade. Even though I am not a gamer, I just love the arcade vibes, especially from the 80s. It'd be a very cool way to get a LEGO arcade that would fit in, in a nice city layout from the 80s. With some fine tweaking, you can get it to fit in very nicely in any era. It would be fantastic and would feature Lucas, Max, and Billy with his fancy pants car. We're moving on now to season three. And this next idea is a very, very popular one, and rightfully so, as it would make for a brilliant, mind-boggling Lego set. Starcourt Mall in its entirety, featuring the mall itself with the cute little mind flare. No, it's not cute, I'm just kidding. With the dangerous, fierce, gigantic mind flare, Scoops Ahoy, and more importantly, our favorite character, the best Stranger Things character of all time, the legendary Erica Sinclair. Getting her as a minifig would be so cute. Oh my god, I would die if I got that. Honestly, there is a ton of Starcourt mall mocks out there for so much, so much cool inspiration. And I feel like they all look so, so great as official Lego sets. And also for the Starcourt mall, for the Scoops Ahoy, I'd love to get Steve and Robin in their adorable Scoops Ahoy outfits. That would be amazing. That, that would just be amazing. That would be even cooler than getting Erica Sinclair, guys. I mean, come on. I, I need that in my life. I need that in my life. And I'd imagine that the official set would feature the final battle against the Mind Flayer with a Billy minifigure. Rest in peace, Billy. Max, L, Mike, you know, the rest of them. I miss Billy. His death really, really hit me hard, especially with that tragic backstory. I cried. Last but not least, another season three idea is the fair with Alexi. I mean, my ideas are kind of dark. I'm sorry. But isn't Stranger Things kind of dark? So I guess sorry, not sorry. <laughs> and honestly, the darkest scenes are the most exciting ones. I mean, I didn't even mention the scene where Bob died. That was just, oh my god, that, that just does not work. That was too much for me. I literally could not even watch it. When that scene happened, I covered my eyes. I could not see. So these ideas aren't really as violent as what Stranger Things could be in terms of violence, so hopefully my ideas aren't too crazy. My ideas are exciting in the dark, scary, heart-wrenching way, I think, but not as scary as Bob getting ripped apart by a Demogorgon live on camera. That was just, oh no, don't even remind me. Back to the topic here, this set 
The Fair with Alexei would feature a small little carnival scene with Murray, Alexei, and the Russian spy who murdered him. My heart, our slushy loving friend, Alexei was ruthlessly murdered by the Russian spy. Oh my god, that just hurt me. That hurt me too much. I can't take this anymore. Thank you. Well guys, that pretty much wraps up the video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, hit the like button and leave a comment down below with your favorite idea. If I missed something that you liked, why don't you leave a comment down below with your brilliant idea? I'd be more than happy to check it out and reply as soon as I can. I had a blast, if you couldn't tell, making this video. I love Stranger Things so much and this is like the first time that I've made a Stranger Things video. I had so much fun. I will definitely go on to making a video for season 4 once it comes out, so stay tuned for that. I'll catch you guys in the next one. <gasps> Look out, there's a Demogorgon behind you! Stay safe and bye for now. That was cringy. Welcome to my channel.